as I was putting the rest of the suit on, and I needed the help with the mask, took off the glove. Another fucking broken zipper. Hey everyone, welcome to the The Amazing Spider-Man 2 cosplay breakdown and reveal. This cosplay took me quite a bit to complete because just those life things. You know, I had to move and then I had a job and then school started up and then of course, big factor, money. So it took me a while but it's finally complete and I think it's some of my best work yet. So let's get into the breaking down of the costume. The pattern for this costume was made by McLean Krieger, may he rest in peace. The red fabric was from Stretch House, it's their nylon shiny dark red spandex. And then to get that brick pattern onto the red spandex, I used a Uchida Marvi marker and I just hand drew the bricks onto the costume. The blue fabric was actually from Parallel Life Studios. It's their TASM 2 brick pattern fabric. It's this beautiful screen printed fabric and I really hope to buy more fabric of theirs because it was just so nice. The web lines on the red sections were actually puff painted by me by hand and I used uh, Metallics Black by Tulip. The front and back spiders along with the finger pads and web trigger were all done by uh, T-Jack FX and I believe they were modeled by Matthew De La Cruz. Do not quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure he did model them for him and he just molded and casted them in urethane rubber. For the shoes and soles, I actually made them Myself, I made my own scuba boot to put inside the suit and then I molded and casted the actual sole all by myself. And the actual soles were modeled by Sensational Spidey. You can actually purchase the soles and stuff on his website and you can also find my boot pattern on there. The web shooters were modeled by Andre Blend and I printed it, sanded it, and painted them uh, to be as accurate as possible with just the paints I had lying around in my apartment. And they're held onto the suit with just magnets so I can easily remove them and attach them when putting on and taking out the cosplay. Finally, the face shell and lenses were modeled by Heroes Anthem. Now you can't actually find these online anymore. Um, he does sometimes have a face shell bundle sale and you might be able to find uh, that particular face shell in that. You could also just use these as alternatives. Uh, they're pretty close, but not exact, but you can still follow along in my face shell tutorial for them if uh, you need to. And for the zippers, I used eight zippers total, one for the mask, one for the neck, two for the wrists, two for the legs, and then finally two for the waist zipper system. Actually, no, that's a lie. I just realized. It's not even in my script. Nine, because I also have a back... Um, one that goes down the back. Wow, okay, so I used nine zippers total, and that's not even including the three that I broke um, just trying to put on the suit and stuff. I broke both zippers on the wrists and then one on the mask. So yeah, that was fun. I still haven't fixed one because I'm just so frustrated with the amount of zippers breaking on this suit, so I just kind of, I'm just letting it be, sort of. I will get to fixing it, but for now, it's just gonna have one broken zipper, you know, just, I'm gonna let it be. I'm not, I'm not gonna risk breaking any other zippers <laughs> as of right now. So learn from me and like, you know, just actually get some good quality zippers, not just some like cheap zippers that come in like a 50 pack that I got on Amazon, you know, get some industrial invisible zippers. And if you guys want more detail on what actually went on to make this suit, I have a playlist for my The Amazing Spider-Man 2 cosplay build. It has every step that I took and even some minor changes I did along the way. So you can go ahead and check that out and you know, learn how to make a TASM 2 cosplay. And now it is time for me to put on the suit. I start out by putting on everything that I need to put under. Uh, the suit, so that includes like a compression shirt, compression shorts, and a dance belt. That's the most important part of any Spider-Man cosplay. Please wear a dance belt, people out there. And of course some socks, so it's just easier to slide on the boots. <laughs> so we start off with putting on the boots, then sliding on the suit up to my waist. 
I make sure to zip up the boots inside the suit, then zip up the ankle zippers on the suit. Next is to pull the arms on and through the wrist zippers unzipped. This is so we can actually use our hands to like, you know, put on zippers and whatnot. Then I pull over the shirt piece over my head and through the neck hole and carefully just fitting it on my body. Next is to zip up all of the zippers. Starting with the back, you zip it down to your waist. Then the two waist zippers that will meet up in the middle of the back. Then the neck and finally the wrists. To finish putting on everything, I put on the face shell and slide over the mask. I wait for the mid frames in the mask to click into the face shell and then I zip down the zipper on the mask. Then it's finally time to put on the lenses and then the web shooters and you know, there we go, the suit is on. Now, not everything on this suit is exactly perfect. Some seams aren't correctly sewn nicely together. There are some puff painting mistakes and even mistakes on the brick pattern. Even the front spider is flaking a little bit because I didn't prep it well enough when I added the shiny coat on the edges. Even things like the web shooter and the soles aren't completely 100% accurate. I mean, even the finger pads, they're slowly just falling apart because I didn't use the right glue to glue them on and also uh, I just didn't treat them as nicely as I could. I was kind of rough with them especially with you know the zippers and whatnot so that part is really my fault. So yeah this costume isn't necessarily perfect and as a matter of fact none of my costumes I've made over the years are really perfect but this is still some of my best work I've put into a cosplay and I'm overall pretty proud of it how it came out even with the mistakes even with things falling apart and not going correctly it's still some of my best work and I plan on you know taking what I've learned from my mistakes on this cosplay and you know applying them to future ones making sure I use the right glues make sure you know I'm using the right zippers you know fabrics and whatnot all of that will you know will apply for future cosplays. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the process of me making the TASM 2 suit. There are a lot of trial and error that went along with the suit and there's still plenty of things that I will probably end up needing to fix. But for now, I'm gonna call a day on the suit and you know, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the journey of this costume and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, I gotta take all this shit down now. All right, there we go.